Hello and welcome to this short video in the series of tips about formatting and submitting TMAs for TM111. In this video I'm going to show you how to add your personal details into the header of your document. Here then is an example of what I'd like to see on my computer monitor when marking your TMA. Once again the text I'm using here is not from any real student's TMA, it's an OU generated example TMA. It's quite old and irrelevant, but it will serve as example text for what I'm about to show you. You'll notice this area at the top of the document where the text is faint or greyed out. This is the header text. The text inside a header will appear on every page that you produce, so using this can save you time. You'll need to make sure that you've given your tutor certain information in your TMA, such as your name, personal ID and the module and TMA numbers. When I'm marking your TMA, it's very handy to be able to see essential details about the document, as when I'm marking, I frequently have more than one document open at a time. You could type this information at the top of the first page, but then that information would not be visible on subsequent pages. Having to type those details over and over again at the beginning of every page of the document would be time consuming, and those details are likely to get shifted from the top of each page as I add comments into your TMA. The solution is to make use of a document header. Normally when we type into a document, the text will appear in the body of the document and you can't normally type up here. But if you double click near the top of the page, you will enter the header area of the document. Or you can go to insert in the ribbon and choose to add a header from there. Now you can enter the sorts of details that you want to appear on every page. I'm going to use an example Open University student called an OU student. Just type your name in and then use the tab key to move to the next part. It's best not to use the spacebar for this because that can add all sorts of formatting issues into a document. When you press tab after entering your name, the cursor moves to the center of the header. Here I can type TM111 and TMA01 or whichever number assignment is being submitted. If I press tab again, the cursor moves to the right side of the document header and in here I can type the PI, the personal identifier. I'll make one up and that's done. I can click up here to close the header or I can just double click in the body of the document and then notice how the text is greyed out so it's less of a distraction when you go on to work in the body of the document. With relatively little effort, your header will appear on every page. And now when I scroll through the document, you'll see there at the top of every page, the header information appears. So that's the way to add a document header. I hope you found this video useful. Please post any comments you have into the student cluster forum and thanks for watching.